What's happening guys? Welcome to Zeus Fitness. It's Grant here and today we're going to put you through your paces with a 60 minute no repeat dumbbell and exercise ball workout. What you're going to need is one of these bad boys and you're going to need ideally a selection of weights going from light to moderate to heavy but if you don't just use what you've got you're still going to get a hell of a workout. We're going to go each muscle group individually for 10 minutes at a time and we're going to be doing 40 seconds each exercise with 20 seconds transition time to give you time to get in the right position. So we're going to get the ball rolling here, literally, with uh, a dumbbell chest press on the ball. All right, so we can go a little heavier for these ones. So I'm going to grab the heavy ones up here. And I'm going to talk you through the exercise and then we're going to get started. So, I'm going to hit the timer here. All right, 40 seconds coming up. Get your dumbbells, roll out in position, feet hip width apart, head supported by the ball. Okay, core engaged. And from here, we're going to breathe out as we bring them in to meet in the middle. Breathe in nice and slow on the way down. Now, you want to keep that bridge going and you want those feet shoulder width apart. You don't want them any more than that. And you want to be Pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. So we're working our core as well as our chest throughout the exercise. Deep breath in the way down, breathe out on the way up. And stop. Okay, gonna pop. The heavy ones back here and we're going with a low fly next so we're gonna grab moderately heavy or light dumbbells here for these split stance and we're gonna bring them in to meet in the middle okay so nails facing away from you you breathe out just squeeze those packs together and bring the two ends of the dumbbells to meet in the middle slow control there's a slight bend in the elbow but it doesn't bend anymore and it's already bent at the start of the exercise. The idea here is to squeeze those packs together as you raise the dumbbells up towards each other. Again, you don't need to go crazy heavy with these. You want to keep the form good. Focus on the squeeze, contraction of the muscle. And stop, good job. Okay, up next we're gonna go a little heavier. And we're gonna do some flies on the ball. All right, so setting the ball, same position as we did with the dumbbell chest press. Only we're gonna bring the heads of the dumbbells together like so, lower them down, and breathe out as we bring them back in the middle. Okay, again, slight bend in the elbow, but the elbows don't bend anymore throughout the repetition. So slowing the way down, breathing in. Breathe out as you bring them in, to squeeze in the middle. And again, keep that bridge, keep the feet hip width apart, keep the core engaged. Good job. All right, now we've got some crossovers. So again, lighter dumbbells for these. All right, you're gonna take, oh, maybe not that light. All right, you're gonna stand the dumbbells like so. And you squish your pack on each side as you bring the dumbbell just across your front, okay? And again, really focus on flexing the packs here. Get a tight squeeze. It's an easy exercise to get wrong if you're just swinging those dumbbells, but if you're really thinking about contracting the pectorals here, each one individually, give it a nice tight squeeze, grip toning exercise, give you that definition between the packs. Up. Okay, up next, all right, we're gonna do some push-ups on the ball. Okay, so this one we don't need the dumbbells for, but we do need the ball for, all right. 
Got a proper belly button on the ball. We're gonna roll right the way, right? So if you're no good at push-ups, all right, start here and do them like so. If you're pretty good at them, roll right out till it's on your shins. Hands just slightly more in shoulder width apart. Elbows slightly tucked. Lower yourself down, breathing in. Breathe out as you press back up. Now your head should be in front of your hands. You don't want to be rolling back and your head in between your hands, okay? Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in the way down. And again, keeping the core strong so your buttocks are clenched, your abs are drawn in. So you're not only getting a good chest pump here, but you're also uh, going to get a good core workout also. Okay, from there, uh, we're going to do a pinch, press, front raise. Yes, I've got my notes written in my hand, by the way. So what we're going to do, grab a light enough dumbbell here. We're going to squeeze it between the palm of the hands with the thumb over the dumbbell. And from here, we're going to breathe out as we bring it up. So don't tuck the thumbs underneath. You're squeezing those pecs again. And as you raise that dumbbell, keeping the arms nice and straight, you get a tighter squeeze the higher you go. The tough part of this, the tough part of this is keeping the handle of the dumbbell pinched between your palms. By doing that, you're automatically engaging your pecs. Keep the thumb over rather than tucked underneath. And stop, okay. Up next, uh, we're gonna do a pinch press. So let's go a little bit heavier on this one, not too heavy. We're on the ball. We're back in the same position as we were in the dumbbell chest press, but same position with the hands we had last time. Palms together, thumbs over the top. Lower it down to your sternum. Breathe out as you press up. Once again, keep those feet hip width apart. Keep the hips up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're engaging your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, all over your core throughout each exercise. And stop. Okay, what do we got next? Ah, reverse dumbbell chest press. So we're gonna take a wee bit heavier if we can. All right, we're gonna sit on the ball once again, same position, but this time for the dumbbell chest press, we get the dumbbells, or sorry, our nails facing us, and we're gonna breathe out as we bring them up. So don't go too heavy with these guys because it's a tricky one. The nails are facing your head, you lower it down, you press them up so the bottom ends of the dumbbells meet in the middle. We got reverse fly, so we'll put these back. We'll grab some lighter dumbbells for these ones. Okay, get the ball back into here. We're gonna get down in a fly position, but we're gonna have the ends of the dumbbells facing each other, nails facing us. Lower it down again. Go light with these guys until you get good at them, because it's an awkward little exercise to master. But we keep the arms nice and straight. Lower them down nice and slow. Breathe out as we bring them in the meat. Those glutes are getting a good workout anyway because of all the bridging we're doing here. All right, finally, I think it's finally, yeah. We got a 
an inclined dumbbell chest press. So we're gonna go a bit heavier, maybe not crazy heavy. And we're back on the ball for this one. Instead of rolling right out into position, we're gonna keep the butt toward the floor, head and shoulders resting on the ball. I'm gonna breathe out as we press up. So it's an incline dumbbell chest press. So we're hitting a slightly different angle, hitting the top of the chest. So you know, maybe can't lift as heavy as you would when we're flat on the ball. At least those hamstrings get a rest. Just let that ball support just to the neck and the head and the shoulders are pressed against it. And stop. So we're going to start this with a raise and pull. Now in this exercise, it's going to be hard to see because I'll be face on, but you're going to use some light dumbbells for this. Get the feet hip width apart, belly button the center of the ball. We get light dumbbells, we raise them up and then into a lat squeeze up top. So you bring it up to a Y, and then bring it to a W. Try not to let them creep too far in front of you. You want to keep them up in line with your shoulders, okay? So we're going to get the ball rolling here. We'll grab some light dumbbells for this. Don't need to be too heavy. Tricky enough little exercise to do with your body weight. Belly button down the center of the ball, dumbbells in position, and away we go. Keep those legs nice and straight, core engaged, front raise, lat squeeze. And you're breathing in as you come up, breathe out as you bring it into the W. And stop, okay. Up next, we're gonna be doing a sweeping row. So, we we'll go a little heavier with these, not too much though. All right. Grab the dumbbells. So what we do, we get in position. Feet hip width apart, tilt from the hips with soft knees. Keep the arms straight, nails facing away from us. And pull back like so, okay? Keep the back nice and flat. Breathe out as you sweep those dumbbells back. No. No uh, excessive bend in the elbow, just slightly soft elbows, but they stay the same throughout the reps. And don't really swing them up, just sweep them back, but always be in control. And control them on the way back down. Breathe out as you sweep, breathe in as you reset. And stop. Okay, we're going to go really light for this next one. All right, because up next we're going to be doing a cobra on the ball. All right, we're going to uh, get down, belly button, center of the ball. We're going to start with the arms out front, and we're going to squeeze back like so. Three, two, one, let's go. And keep those arms nice and straight. Soft elbows, but they don't bend anymore. Throughout the workout, or throughout the exercise. Bring them in to meet the middle. Draw those shoulder blades back. Try and keep those feet hip width apart. And stop. Okay, up next, we're going to go a little heavier. We're going to do uh, a single arm row. Okay. So we're going to maybe go one of the heavier ones here. And we're going to pop a right hand on the ball. And dumbbell on the left hand. And as we row up, we're going to rotate. And bring it back down nice and slow.
Don't fully lock out the arm as you bring it back. Just make sure that back's nice and flat. Keep that core strong because that ball's going to want to move. And stop. Right, we'll just keep that there for a minute. And up next, go even heavier. And we're going to do an upright pull, okay? So we're just going to uh, grab the head of the dumbbell, like so, and pull it up to our chin, keeping our elbows nice and high. And away we go. Turn out the tilt forward. Keep the core strong as always. If that dumbbell comes with the chin, and the elbows go nice and high. And stop. Now we've got a single arm row on the other side. So we did the left arm last time, so we're going to put the left hand on the ball, dumbbell on the right hand. And we will tear it round as we bring it up. And away we go. And stop, good job. Now move the ball to the side here. And next we're going to grab the matching one to that dumbbell. So reasonably heavy in this one, we're going to do a renegade row. So we're going to get down in the high plank position. Might take it in turns from side to side. To row up, and then we go to the other side. Let's go. Try, try to keep those hips nice and stable without twisting them too much. Core's gonna stay strong. Make sure your butt's not up in the air here, okay? You're over the dumbbells, they're not in front of you. And stop, okay, so take one of these up next we're going to do a lap pullover on the ball so again same dumbbells for this i would suggest reasonably heavy going to uh, get a diamond grip of the dumbbell keep the bridge keep the arms nice and straight as you go back breathe out as you come back up again don't go really heavy on this until you get the fur of it because you will be wobbling and wobbling in this one. And stop. Okay, up next we got Gorilla Rose. So we're going to use these dumbbells yet again. All right, now what we do here, move the ball side, set them on the floor, a sumo stance, like so, keep the back nice and flat, and then we row and we swap sides. Away we go. So a lot wider than your usual squatting stance. Yeah, we're still sitting back into those glutes a little. But being able to go 
over the floor with the dumbbells. It takes a little pressure, a little bit of pressure off your lower back and allows you to lift a little heavier. Just make sure you keep the elbow nice and tucked, otherwise it'll hit the inside of your knee. Nice repetition. And stop, okay. Last exercise then. For the back, we're gonna go really light here. And we're going back with our feet against the wall. We're gonna do a V tapered row. So for this, feet hip width apart, belly button on ball. Start with the dumbbells here and widen them out like so. Let's go. Keep those arms straight. So imagine we start at the point of the V and we widen it out. Legs nice and straight, keep the core nice and strong throughout. And stop. Without any further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to do a ball squat, okay, using the wall. This is where we pop the ball against the wall. Place it just between your shoulder blades. We're gonna get a couple of dumbbells in our hand and we're gonna squat down nice and low, pushing the butt end toward the corner where the floor meets the wall, okay? And we're gonna use some moderately heavy dumbbells for this. We're gonna get in position. Ready to go. Three, two, one, and away we go. So keep the feet hip width apart. Hips in line with knees in line with feet. Head facing forward, and as you're lowering yourself down, you really want to push your butt towards the corner where the wall meets the ground. Try not to let your knees creep out in front of your toes. Just take your time with these, make sure the knees aren't slipping out to the side. And try not to rely on the ball too much. I mean, you're not leaning really into it. It's just there to support you. And stop, good job. All right, up next, we're gonna do a split squat. So we'll keep these dumbbells here. We're gonna get a right foot forward, our left foot back. And we're just gonna lower the knee down towards the floor. Right angle to hamstring calves. And three, two, one, let's go. So you wanna bring the knee down, either to graze the floor or about one centimeter above it, but make sure your front knee isn't going over the top of your front foot, okay? So you don't want to be turning it into a hip flexor stretch, okay? Straight down, head, line the hips, and line the back knee. This is what we're after. And stop. Okay, up next, keep that dumbbell handy. We're gonna be doing a glit bridge on the ball. All right, so we're gonna pop this on our hips. We're gonna roll forward. So the ball's between the shoulder blades and the back of the head is resting on the ball. We place the dumbbell on our hips, lower the butt towards the floor, and lift those hips right up towards the ceiling. Let's go. That ball stays nice and still. Spine kind of curls around the ball. So it doesn't move, the knees don't creep forward, ball stays still. We just lift those hips up as high as we can lift them. Good job. Okay, up next, we've got split squat on the other side, so we need that other dumbbell back. So we the right foot forward last time, so this time we'll be putting the left foot forward. 
in possession. And away we go. Another gel head and line with hips and line with back knee, no folding from the, uh, the waist. And make sure we're getting right angles between those hamstring calves. Knee comes down to graze the floor or one centimeter above, but don't be bouncing it off the floor. Because if you rest it there for a split second, you can disengage all the muscles we're trying to work. And stop, good job. Got next. Ah. Okay, we got single leg curl. So we're gonna land it back. We're gonna pop our right foot on the ball, left foot elevated. We're gonna curl the heel in towards the butt as we lift the hips right up towards the ceiling. Let's go. This is a tricky one. If you're struggling with this, guys. You can always use both legs. And then we come around to do the other side. You can uh, use the, just do the same exercise again. If you can, so that with one leg. You wanna come up so that your head or your knee is in line with your hips. And straight line down to your head. And stop, okay. So, up next, we've got an alternate side lunge. Once again, I'm gonna grab the moderately heavy dumbbell. Don't need much for this, okay. We're gonna pop this under the chin. And we're gonna lunge out to the right, back, and then lunge out to the left. And away we go. leg this time. This one might be a little iffy with me. So, heel on the ball, right leg elevated. I'm gonna curl that in, lift those hips up towards the center. Away we go. Yeah, you will find one side might be weaker than the other. This is definitely my weaker side. But this is why it's a good reason to do these, get this one caught up with the right one. Okay, up next we're gonna do a double rack squat. So. Let's take those moderately heavy dumbbells again. Or you can go heavy if you want these, but I'm going to use these. Rock them up in the collarbone. And we're just going to hit the feet up with the part and squat down nice and low. Three, two, one, and away we go. Ah, right, double leg curl. This was where it gets tricky. Fingers crossed I get this. I want one dumbbell, moderately heavy. I'd suggest set it behind you. Pop your feet. Oh, 
pop your feet in between it like so, or each side of it. Roll forward onto your hands, push up position, and then curl those heels in towards your butt. Now you gotta keep those feet together so that dumbbell doesn't slip. Might take you a minute or two to get in position for this one. It's a good little hamstring curl when you get it. You don't want to be right the way off the ball here. You need to be belly button kind of centered with the center of the ball. And step. Okay. And finally, we got all the little lunges. So let's grab the moderately heavy one again. And we're just gonna stand tall. We're gonna step forward with the right, bring the knee down toward the floor, step back, and go to the other side. Let's go, last exercise. Let's get started. We're going to start with a single arm press on the ball, okay? So this one's going to challenge your core. So I suggest you don't go crazy heavy with this first time around, all right? Because you'll be offset with the balance with a heavy weight. We're going to be seated on the ball. It's going to challenge your core as well as your shoulders. So we're going to get started in 10 seconds. We'll start with the right arm first. So feet hip width apart. Dumbbell just at the shoulder, and then we're going to rotate it up. Go. You keep that core strong. Keep your balance. You don't have the back of the bench to hold you up either, so you gotta keep everything braced. Breathe in, breathe out as you press. As you know by now, guys, shoulders burn out very quickly, so even with light weights, this workout is going to be tough. So don't, uh, don't go crazy heavy too soon. And stop. Okay, up next, we've got side lateral raises. We're going to go lighter ones. All right. For these, we're going to stay standing for these. We're going to keep the feet hip width apart. And we're going to keep these six inches away from the hips, and we're going to raise them up in line with the ears and back down nice and slow. In three, two, one, and go. Keep that core strong so there's no swinging. Don't bring the dumbbells right to the hips. Keep them a few inches away. Time stand still when you're doing shoulder exercises because they really burn really quick. And stop. Okay, we're going to grab a moderately heavy dumbbell again because we're going to do the other side of the single arm press. Left side this time. Feet hip width apart, core engaged, dumbbell just the collarbone here, and you're gonna press and rotate. Let's go.
stuff. Good job. Up next, we've got Cuban presses, so I'm just going to grab the matching dumbbell over here. So moderately heavy, I would suggest for these. Then stay standing. And we're going to do an upright pull, turn into a press, back down, re rack, and go again. But it's not a reverse bicep curl, it's an upright pull into position. So up, turn, press, down, and repeat. Make sure that core is strong, no arching in the back. Job. Okay, up next, ah, we're gonna go light for this, okay? It's a tricky enough a little one. So, two, three, two, there, bites. We're gonna get our belly button in the center of the ball. We're gonna use the wall here. We get our legs straight, shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna squeeze back like so. Not unlike a back exercise, but really targeting the rear delts here. Let's go crying, go heavy with this. Your arms stay relatively straight through, right? And keep the dumbbells almost in line with your shoulder when you bring them back, okay? You don't want to be pushing your shoulders forward and tucking the arms in. Stop. Okay, up next, we're going to do an alternate front raise. So we're going to go a little heavier. Not much heavier though. Okay, keeping the core strong. I'm going to raise up one side and up the other side again. Don't try and kettlebell swing it up using your hips, okay? Let's go. Shoulders should be starting to burn quite a bit by now. I'm just over halfway through the workout. And stop. Okay, up next we're going to go moderately heavy. And we're going to do Arnie presses on the ball. So we're going to keep uh, take a seat in the ball. Bring the dumbbells up in line with their eyes. We're gonna turn them out, press them up, back down, and repeat. Let's go. And again, keep those dumbbells in line with your eyes, like you're playing peekaboo here. Next, we've got a halo, so keep one of those dumbbells. I'm gonna bring the dumbbell out the front, like so. Bring it right in the back of the head, out front, and repeat. And away we go. So, big bend the elbow, just rotate it around, bring it out in front of you, and back the way you came.
one step. Okay, now we're going around the world. So you want to go light, pretty damn light with these ones, guys. Gonna get the dumbbells, ends of the dumbbells touching. Stand nice and tall, and you're gonna bring them up above the head to meet, and bring it back down, okay? There we go. Just deep breath in, breathe out again, keep that core strong. You wanna make a nice big circle from the ends of the dumbbells, and you meet them up in the middle of the head of the dumbbells. Guys going crazy heavy in this guys. I'm going nice and light. At the stage of the workout guys, you could be lifting two pencils uh, instead of dumbbells. That would still be tough. All right, finally, we got our 90 degree raises, okay? so. Again, lighten up dumbbells. Maybe a wee bit heavier than the ones we're doing in the round world. Start at a right angle here. And then we raise up and down nice and slow. So you're leading with the elbows here, okay? So from here, breathe out, up, down nice and slow. Keep that right angle intact throughout. Coming in the last 10 seconds, hang in there guys. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to my shoulders. <laughs> and mercifully, we are done. So we're gonna get started here with a close grip push up using the ball, okay? We're climbing on the ball. Rolling out. Here, keeping the arms in nice and tight. Right, the further back the ball is, the harder it's going to be. Keep the elbows in tight, lower yourself down, and press up. Okay? So, if you're struggling with this, you can just bring the ball back a little bit more and bring your hands back a little bit more so that there's less weight on the actual arms. Keep those elbows in tight, lower yourself down, and make sure your head is um, over your hands, as in a, a little bit in front of the hands. You don't want your head to be going in between the hands, okay? So just lower down, press back up, breathe in the way down, and breathe out, just push back up. Try not to roll back on the ball, okay? Good stuff. Up next, we're going alternate bicep curls. So grab some reasonably heavy dumbbells for these. All right, depending on what you're working with. Uh, we're just gonna curl up with the left. Rotate round, don't bring it right up to your shoulder. Bicep should get in the way. And three, two, one, away we go. Keep the core strong. Feet roughly hip width apart. Bring it out and curl it towards you again. Make sure you rotate it right the way around so you can see your nail bring it up to you. It should make right up to the shoulder. Bicep should act as a roadblock between the dumbbell and the shoulder. And don't swing them up, no swinging involved in this one. And stop, okay. Up next we've got a skull crusher and we're gonna use the ball for this. So keep the same weight so we'll go a little bit lighter for these. All right, we take the dumbbells and bring ourselves out onto the ball, head and shoulders. Secure it on the ball, hips up. We're gonna lower ourselves down, just past the ears, and fully straighten up. So your shoulders, the elbows stay nice and still. Bring them down, just past the ears. Fully extend them back up. Remember, we're not going back like this. You need a big bend in the elbow here, so it needs to be coming just down above the ears or thereabouts is where we're aiming for. So the more we can extend the muscle, the better the range of movement, the more contraction we'll get in the tricep, the more burn we'll get, the more gains we'll get. 
and stop. Okay, what we got next? All right, so we're gonna do a concentration curl using the ball here. So sitting the edge of the ball, we're gonna get the dumbbell like so on a right arm, elbow on the inside of the right knee, just the bottom of the tricep on. We're gonna curl it up towards our face. So make sure the elbow's not creeping too far up the inner thigh. the shoulder, line the elbow, and line the hand. Your body's gonna probably try and figure a way to make this a little easier. Take the pressure off the bicep and keep, keep strong with it. Keep the same position from rep one through the 40 seconds. Don't worry, we'll be coming on the left arm in the wee minute. And stop, okay, so. I'll pop these back for a second. We're gonna grab slightly lighter ones. Up next, we're gonna do a single arm crossover with a tricep. So right, we're gonna use the right, do the right arm. Okay, so we roll out onto the ball. Head and shoulders connected. Left arm on the inside of the right elbow. Lower that dumbbell towards the left shoulder and fully extend it up. So the right arm's doing all the work these two exercises and then guess what last arm tags in at the end of this 40 seconds the concentration curls and then the crossovers just keep the shoulder the elbow still again use your hand keep that elbow secure so it's not sneaking out to the side not moving anywhere and stop. Okay, pop that one back and go slightly heavier with a concentration curl again on the left side this time. So, get the bottom of the tricep and the inside of the left knee. I'm going to curl up towards us, down nice and slow. Shoulder stays in line with elbow and line with hand. And knee doesn't move and elbow stays where it is. Tricep stays pressed against the inside of the leg. Again, what your body's going to try and do is sneak that elbow up towards the groin area just to try and make it a little easier for the bicep, but you've got to be smarter than your body's inclination to be uh, lazy on this one and stop okay so now we're going to do a single arm crossover um, on the left side so we're going to take the dumbbell back on the ball <coughs> roll out right hand on the inside of the left elbow lower the dumbbell towards the right shoulder fully extend it up Left arm starting to get tired now. Right one's well rested. And stop. Okay, now we're going to uh, get the matching dumbbell for that one. I'm going to do some wide grip bicep curls next. I'm just stay standing for this one. Okay, so stand up tall. Nails facing away from us. Elbows in tight by the ribs and curl them up towards our shoulders. Okay, so. We're going wide with this one. So you keep the chest high. Keep those elbows just in by the ribs. Lower it down nice and slow.
branch stuff, okay? Up next, we're gonna be using uh, just the dumbbells again, no need for the ball. We're gonna do a double arm tricep kickback, so these weights should be fine, all right? Reasonably heavy, moderately heavy. We're gonna get the elbows up in line with the back, start at a right angle, fully extend them, and back to right angle, don't let them creep up to your shoulders. Let's go. Breathe out as you extend, but keep that back nice and flat. Keep the knees soft. Take your time with it. Stop. And finally, I think it's finally. Yep, we got hammer curls with a twist. So again, we're going to stay standing, no need for the ball. Keep the same dumbbells. We're going to curl them up towards us like so. Rotate them around. Rotate them back. And back to start position, down by the side of your hips. Three, two, one. And let's go. Not overly important what dumbbells you're using here, I'd go light enough for these ones. We're gonna get started with a ball crunch, okay? I'm gonna get in position, talk you through it. One of the most commonly badly done exercises in the gym today, or at home. We keep the butt on the ball, all right? So it's in the first third of the ball. We lean back, you should feel like we're gonna fall off. X across the chest, we breathe out, but we crunch up and we're only going up about five or six inches. Ball doesn't move, knees don't creep forward and the butt stays still on the front of that ball. If you go too far off the ball, you've lost the exercise. If you go too high up, you're gonna roll that ball back and you're gonna lose your position. The core should always be engaged throughout this, even when you're not actually crunching. Always breathe out as you crunch it up and keep the feet hip width apart. Right angle between hamstring and calf. Okay, good stuff. Now I'm gonna grab a couple of light dumbbells here. <coughs> light enough. And what we're gonna do is a half get up on the right. So I'm gonna do this over here. Okay, lie flat on your back. Get your right knee bent, left arm out the side, left leg out the side, dumbbell in the air. Crunch up onto your forearm and up onto your hand. Okay, back down and repeat. Keep the arms straight like you're holding a glass of water. Don't bend the elbow and almost chest press it up, okay? Just wanna keep that arm nice and straight. Stop, keep those dumbbells handy because we'll come back to use those in a minute and we're using the left side. Start doing the left side. Up next, we're going to do a plank on the ball. So we're going to pop our forearms onto the ball, come up onto your tiptoes, engage our abs, our glutes, and lower back. So forearms on, keep the hands apart, up onto your tiptoes, squeeze and hold it there. And for a bit of extra difficulty, you can roll the ball out and roll it back in. Make sure there's no arch in your lower back. Core stay strong, breathe out as you pull it in. But if that's too much for you, then just do the static hold and hold it there, that's tight enough. And the elbow shouldn't be that close into you. The further out they are from you, the more you'll have to engage the core.
stuff. Okay, so moving on to a half get up on the left side. So we take that dumbbell, we bend the left knee, straighten out the left arm, right arm out the side, right foot out the side. We're gonna crunch up onto our right forearm, then up onto our right hand. Let's go. We're breathing out as we crunch up as always. Breathing in on the way back down. I leave that dumbbell there. We'll be coming back to that in just a minute. Up next, we've got an oblique twist. Move this forward a little touch. Okay, so this one, we're gonna be engaging the obliques. So we're gonna roll out, head and shoulders rested on the ball. Make your hands together, and then we're gonna roll to the side, facing the camera, back to the middle, and roll to the other side. Okay, this one really challenges your core. Stop you from falling off the ball. You keep the, a nice high bridge throughout. And you work those obliques by twisting round. Oh. Breathe out as you twist. Breathe in as you come back. Tricky enough little exercise this if you haven't done it before. And stop. Okay, up next we're going to do a cherry picker uh, on the right side. So we're going to take the dumbbell on the right hand. You might want to tuck uh, the shirt into this one. Okay, same position with the arm as you did for the half get up. Other arm down by the side. We're going to bring the knees in the chest and kick up. Knees back in and straighten them out. up like you're trying to kick the ceiling with your feet don't overshoot and get the legs up behind you try not to let your feet touch the floor that there we'll be coming back to that in a minute all right up next we're going to do a back extension so you need a wall here for this all right and your exercise ball we put our feet shoulder width apart against the wall keeping the legs nice and straight belly button down the center of the ball fingertips inside the head breathe out as you come into a back extension curl your way forward breathe out as you come up and try and keep those legs straight throughout and again feet should be shoulder width apart Up next, we've got the, our cherry pickers on the left. So dumbbell on the left hand. Right arm out the side. Straighten out the legs, knees in the chest, kick them up towards the ceiling. And back down again. Away we go.
And stop. Okay. Next one we're going to do is setting the ball. We're going to do another crunch, but we're going to crunch up the side, then up the middle, and then up the other side. And back to the middle, and so on. So butt stays on ball. Crunch up to the left, down, up the middle, down, up to the right, down again. Should only be coming up about four or five inches. Ball stays still. Butt stays on ball. If the butt's off the ball, you've lost the position and you're wasting your time. It should feel like you're on the tipping point, like you're about to fall off. Try and keep those feet hip width apart. Try not to widen them out too much, or you'll uh, take away the essence of the exercise, which is to keep your core steady throughout. And stop. Okay. That's number nine. So we're on our last one now. We're going to do a pullover crunch. So we're going to take two reasonably light dumbbells, pop them in our hands, straighten the arms out behind our head. Now we're gonna not touch the hands or feet off the ground. We're gonna crunch up to meet in the middle. Upper body crunches up, lower body crunches in. Come back down, don't let the feet or dumbbells touch. Breathing out as you meet in the middle, breathing in as you extend again. and stop and that takes care of our core for today hope you all enjoyed that if you do hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you never miss a zeus fitness workout ever again and also leave us a wee comment we always want to hear from you and any suggestions you may have for the future cheers guys well done